the little loves, the dear little loves. Did you give them a nice breakfast? Nellie the elephant did. Packed her trunk, <gasps> went to join the circus. <gasps> <gasps> Have a sweetie. Thank you, mister. Here. Mm. Mm. Do spoil me, mister. Brothers should spoil their sisters. Guess what? What? Nothing. What? Mind your own business, fry your own fish, don't poke your nose in my clean dish. Are you going to tell? Ask me no questions, you get no lies, shut your gob and you'll catch no flies. Are you going to tell? It's a secret. Come on, tell. You're hurting me. Give in then. Promise not to let on. Cross my heart. Cut your throat. Cut my throat. I heard Mum's in Nanny discussing a certain person. And this certain person. Do I know this certain This person? certain person. What about him? been getting a little bit uppity with Mumsy and Nanny. Hmm. We'll have to find someone else then. <laughs> that was the idea. Do you suppose his room's ready yet? Oh, Mum! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Hello! Come on, you come friendly. On. Come on. Come on. Here, boy, how many... What are you two doing here this hour in the morning, eh? Me? Me? Well, I'm not talking to myself, am I? Of course not. That would be silly. I don't try to be funny. You heard the gentleman. And that goes for you, too. Now, hop it. I might have to get a policeman. Don't do that, mister. Don't call a policeman, mister. We weren't doing anything. How did you get in here? Easy. Easy. Go on. Go on, would you? Come on. Come back here. Come on. Come on. What have you been up to, eh? Sneaking in here before the place is open? Come on. Let's have a look at it. Come on. Bring it in. Good boy, you might. What have I got to do to be good? Stop asking questions. That's it. Is that where you live? Where? That bench. Over there on that bench. No. Where do you live? Come on, where? You can't meet Mum's in Nanny unless you tell her. After all, we can't just make friends with anybody. Can we? I mean, we've got to know things. You could be anybody. Couldn't you? Oh, nobody. You must be somebody. I'm nobody. Don't keep saying that. I'm nobody. I keep telling you. I've got no will. The rose is the pocket full of pansies. Hesha! Hesha! We all fall down! <laughs> you didn't fall down. We did tell you about the rules. Not one more game. Just Go off this. Mucking about like kids. We're not kids. That's not nice. Shall it be, Mumsy? What shall we play? Let's play... Oranges and Lemons. Come along, Nanny. The bells of Stephanie. Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. 
Come on, slow coach. Oh, you're lazy. Come on! Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go home. Oh, why are you always spoiling I'm everything? Not spoiling it. Having a good time. Why don't you join in the same as everything? <laughs> Drunk. And somebody join the angels. Don't worry. You'll be safe with us. The mumsy will love you. Gave you a bath last night oh. and tucked you up. And Sunny put your clothes in the incinerator. But you gave me a bath. You looked ever so cosy. You're not embarrassed. You had blood everywhere. All down your chest. All right, all right. And all inside your... We were struggling and she fell. Liar. You pushed her. Saw you with my own two eyes. Sunny saw you too. Anyway. We're a happy family. Come on, eat up. The mumsy likes having people in. Don't you like being looked after? Come on, hurry up with that water. When do we get something to eat? We'll have to wait. Not dinner time yet. You have a lot of rules in this house? Of course. They're for our own good. And yours. Who says? Mumsy and Ned. He might as well, huh? Tell me some of them. You'll find out, won't you? He'll find out. Um, these games, for example. Games are what you might call your rent money. Your dues. You have to play games because you're our new playmate. It's like being back at school. Suppose I get fed up with these games. Where do you think you're going? The lavatory. You know, shed a tear for Nelson. For your girlfriend, more likely. He wants to go to the lab. <laughs> In this house, you have to ask to go to the lab. You don't just go to the lab without asking. You've got to say, but please, may I be excused? Please, may I be excused? Of course. Do you know where it is? Yes. Go on, then. Itching powder in his bed. Getting fed up with the itching powder bit. I got it. Didn't you say it nicely? What? Say what nicely? Please, may I be excused? You said it ever so nicely. The mums he likes fast spoken people. <laughs>
Mumsy and Nanny sent me. They gave me a list. How is the Mumsy? Uh, anyway, um... Yes? I'd like a pint of strap oil, two left-handed screwdrivers, off your feet, I say, and have a nice cup of tea. Do I have to? It's part of the game. Oh. Are you going to have one? It's only for customers. Oh. Well, if it's part of the game. Good for you, dear. <laughs> if I told you, you wouldn't have touched it. <laughs> Castor oil? Mm. Sonny takes his with black carrot juice, <laughs> and I take mine with lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I really thought castor oil. <laughs> You were trying to escape. No, you thought wrong. Let go of my hand. I said, let go of my hand. You've not been learning the rules. Rules can be broken. I thought you were trying to run. You must never try to run. Would you? No. Oh, don't go. Don't ever try to run for it. you get hurt. Just remember, Mumsy, Nanny, Sonny and me, we're a happy family.
were just sticking your neck out, and for what? Because something's... He let on to Nanny that he and Mumsy did something together. And that upset Nanny, of course, because he's never done that with her. Does Nanny want him to, then? <laughs> of course she does. Clear as the nose on her face. Vout, you should be in bed. Come along inside like a good little girl. Don't want to go to bed. Yes, you do. And Mumsy will read you a nice story before she tucks you in. No, don't want a story. Perhaps Girlie would like Nanny to read her a story. No, don't want Nanny. Nanny's not. Come along, Lizzie. I want... Not frightened. That's right. You just cuddle up nice and warm, and I'll go and see if Nanny has the lunch ready. What could you expect? Well, go on, what could you expect? I really don't know. You must have. What do you mean, I must have? That something would have happened sooner or later with me and one of these new friends. So much for all the rules. What good did rules ever do? But you must have rules. A happy family needs rules. Now that the rules count for so little, I really don't know what's going to happen to any of us. To you, to me, or to Nanny. Oh, where is Nanny, anyway? Just this once, then. There we are. Elevens. Tens are for booties. What have you done with friend in two? Put a nanny on the train to heaven. I do hope he gave her a blanket. She does feel the cold, so. And here's our pretty pattern. Where we... Off you go, then. Humpty <laughs> Dumpty had a great fall. <laughs>